Okay, so let's talk about multiplying polynomials. So again, in multiplying polynomials, we apply the distributive property. But instead of just multiplying um, one term to each term of our polynomial, we're going to multiply the polynomials or the terms of our first group to each term of our second group. And then we will perform the combining like terms. And then that will be our product. Another way of saying this is we're going to perform the FOIL method. Okay, so let's proceed to our example. So let's multiply 2x minus 1 and 3x minus 2. So first, we multiply our first term, 2x, to each term of our second group. So 2x multiply to 3x, our first term of our second group. So coefficient times coefficient that is 6 x times x that will be x squared okay so that will be the product of the first term by the first term next the first term and the last term so we have 2x times negative 2 so 2x times negative 2 so 2 times negative 2 that is negative 4 then we just copy the variable x so we're done with distributing our first term to our po second polynomial. Next, let's proceed to multiplying our second term to our second group. So let's multiply negative 1 and 3x. So we have negative 1 times 3x. So that will give us negative 3x. And negative 3x is going to be paired to negative 4x because they have the same term so we will place them or we will place it below negative 4x so we have negative 3x next let's multiply our last term by the last term so negative 1 times negative 2 so that will give us positive 2 now we're done with multiplying our polynomials our next step is we're going to perform combining like terms. So we're going to add our similar terms. So let's perform addition. So we have 6x squared. Since it doesn't have any partner, we will just bring down 6x squared. So 6x squared. Next, we have negative 4x plus negative 3x. So since they have the same sign, we copy the sign and then add. 4 plus 3, 7. Then, copy the variable x. And last one, positive 2. Since it doesn't have any partner, we will just bring down positive 2. And that's it. Their product will be 6x squared minus 7x plus 2. Ta-da! Alright. And that is it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments, questions, recommendations, suggestions for my next video, please leave them in our comment section below. Share this video and subscribe. And for more videos like this, you can go to my channel, Teacher Justin. And that is it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.